you guys, Ethan accidentally sent me something that would have given away when the engagement is. I'm terrified right now. We are going to try Tracy Anderson. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to our community. I'm super in public. I'm terrified right now. We are going to try Tracy Anderson. It's a really intimidating workout class in Tribeca. I feel like everyone in there is like, it's like culty vibes. It's a heated like dance aerobics. Pilates, I don't know, it's its own kind of thing, but I'm terrified. I feel like everyone in there is going to know what they're doing. I hope I can get like a spot in the back. I don't know. I'm scared. I feel like it's a scary place, but hopefully not. Let's go. never met a workout class I didn't like. I feel so bad knocking down businesses ever or like especially when they give me free classes. But this place gets so much good press. Like everyone is talking about how much they love it on TikTok and everything. I fucking hated it. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm heading into the subway but I will tell you why I hated it when I get home in a minute. Okay, I just took a body shower real quick and I'm eating protein powder with seeds and yogurt. I don't even know what I'm eating. Uh, yes, I do. I just said what I'm eating. Real quick. Tracy Anderson recap. If you haven't seen these TikToks, it might just be because I'm in New York, they come up for me, but if you haven't seen, take a look while I'm speaking right now. There have been a ton of TikToks of girls in the class being obsessed with it, loving it, and it seemed very intimidating and culty because that plus, like you kind of just get a vibe, but also I, they gave me a free class months ago in my account and I was not able to redeem it until now because every time I would go to book, everything would be waitlisted. Like you cannot get in these classes. So you're like, of course it's culty. There's definitely people who come literally every single week. They book it the second, you know, the schedule goes live. So I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be like wild. One positive I will say, other than the fact that the studio is absolutely gorgeous and like big and there's showers and like an amazing wellness shop and clothes like the vibe was amazing i will say it really wasn't intimidating in terms of the people the front desk was amazing the people in my class were like some moms some like girls in their in their 30s and late 20s i don't know it just like wasn't it definitely wasn't a scary vibe it's not like when you walk into a soul cycle and it's like I don't know. It didn't feel as culty as I expected. At least, you know, I took a Tuesday 7.30 a.m. class. It didn't feel that way. Other than that, I hated it. Everything else about it, I could not figure out how to do any of the moves. The instructor doesn't speak. So you're trying to do something that's really not intuitive. Like it's all stuff that you really have to feel coordinated for. Like, but there's no instruction. It's not like make sure, you know, you're lifting your hip this height or whatever it's like there's literally no instruction i understand that that's the vibe and some people like that but like i want to make sure i'm doing things right so i didn't like that then because of that you kind of have to while you're doing things that require you to like look down crank your neck to look at the instructor because you don't know what the fuck you're doing because she's not speaking all the while it's a heated room so i'm schwitzing while feeling like i'm not doing anything properly so I honestly think the heat is like to distract you from the fact that like, you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> All of that together, it just was not my vibe. Towards the end, I was like, can I fucking leave now? Like I hated it. I feel bad saying that because they gave me a free class, but I just need to be honest because they have enough amazing press. That place was not for me. I'm gonna finish eating this and head to Ethan's WeWork to work for the day because I cannot sit here all day. Anytime I really have to be very productive at work, like I know we have a lot of work to get done and I need to focus, I need to not be home where there's a TV and things to cook and distraction. So I just made a smoothie while I made this to bring and I'm making hard boiled eggs so like I can just bring stuff to the office and not have to buy food and focus there. So that's the plan.
morning. We are taking the subway quick to Central Park to get a speed run in. I'm committed to my training plan. All before therapy, it's 7.30. It's actually such ideal weather. Last time I ran in Central Park, I've never schwitzed more. So it's finally like approaching fall weather. It's not as hot and I'm so thrilled about it. It's also supposed to rain at like 10 a.m. So that's also why. Huh, I'm gonna do this more often. That train was really easy and quick. And this is all before therapy. So imagine on a day I have even more time, I could totally run in Central Park in the morning. Huh. Okay, that was fun. It amounted to a mile. I am sweating, so that's good. But I do think I had to do some research on where the like best hills in Central Park are, because I feel like a lot of the time I was looking for them. Okay, back home. I still don't know where my little ring light went, but I do remember seeing it. Oh, I know where it went. Ugh, I don't feel like getting it. Anyway, Better Bun had sent me a little while ago these buns. This is the pretzel bun. There was also a brioche bun. And we went through the brioche bun so quick. And like it was in our freezer for a while. And then we just decided to try it. And now we're literally obsessed. So I decided, because I'm starving, to make a little egg sandwich. So this is in the toaster. We got two eggs. We got avocado. We got some kale, some feta. And I'm just going to put together a scramble. The running has been really good. I feel like I needed between COVID and my period and throwing my back out, like I needed that rest because now my back no longer hurts, knock on wood. Here's what. So I feel really good and back to normal. I think I needed that break. Anyway, I'll get back to when the egg sandwich is done. Look how freaking delicious this looks. I can't even talk for long because I need to devour this, but wow. I made an omelet and put it on avocado toast on this better bun. Hmm, <sighs> delish. Farmer's market break. <sighs> you guys, I've been sitting here working all day, but I just got a kind of scary email. <laughs> so obviously I told you I didn't like Tracy Anderson and they did gift me that class credit months and months ago, but I was never able to get in to try it. My plan was always to give a very honest review. Like I didn't sign anything for a brand deal or anything. Like I don't sign a contract and do a brand deal or anything like that with a company unless they already know I love them. This was just like a credit in exchange for like reviewing it, reviewing it on TikTok and like they asked me to feature the clothes or whatever. In hindsight, I probably should have been a little bit nicer about it. However, I intentionally was like, okay, I'm going to do one review that's just like, you know, the one that I said I would do, which is like just informative. Here's how much a class costs. Here's how the class goes. You start with the warm up. You, you know, there's no instruction. Very straightforward. And then I said, come back for part two for my personal thoughts. Part two was my very honest, like, I don't like this class and here's all the reasons why. Totally understand that they would not be happy about that, but they sent me a very nasty email, like a threatening email. It's kind of terrifying. I didn't sign, any, sign anything. All I did was like, you know, if, if a company gifts product, like let's say it's a physical product on a class, like if somebody, you know, if a company sends me a lip gloss and I don't like it, like you're sending that product knowing that like if I'm, if you're sending it for me to review, like I might not like it. They sent me a really threatening email. I probably like shouldn't have been as harsh as I was, but I just like can't lie. Like I'm a New Yorker through and through. I'm so, I hate this word, it's overused, but like real, like I need to just be honest. But anyway, the email like gave me a pit for sure, but I've also heard that they're kind of nasty over there. Anyway, huge pit in my stomach from that. Jesus Christ, this email was like kind of crazy. I am finishing up work and then I'm gonna go get my nails done. So. As I work, I'm like boiling some pasta right now with broccoli just so that my side dish is done and then Ethan's gonna make steak while I'm getting my nails done. We have things under control here. <laughs> They're so scary. Hello, finally figured out the lighting in here a little bit better. It's a good morning, gotta caffeinate. It's 6.50, gotta head out at 7.15 for Run Club. It's Thursday morning. Getting my act together here. I'm gonna do a stretch because I do not stretch nearly enough. We have a lot going on today. Let's start from the top. So we start with Run Club this morning. 
I'm gonna run like a mile and a half. And then I can't figure out if I'm gonna go to coffee with everyone. We always go to coffee after run club. It's like kind of part of it. I think I'm going to. I think I'll have time to grab a quick coffee. And that'll be at like, we'll grab it at like 8, 8.15. And then I have to, can't figure out if I'm gonna have to stop home or if I can just go straight, which means I need more coffee. But I'm gonna go to the podcast studio because I have an interview that I'm really excited about. Over a year ago, Ethan and I were, for some reason, considering moving to Denver, like loosely considering, just kind of like I was obsessing over the idea of it. I think I was just craving change in my life and I don't really know, but we were taking a trip to Colorado to visit his sister. While we were there, we spent a week in Denver and I partnered with this extended stay hotel and I was reaching out to all these locals and I made a whole video that was like taking locals recommendations to live like a local in Denver and like here's what it's like to live here check out the video I'll pop it up here but anyway so I had found this girl on YouTube who was making YouTube videos with her boyfriend or fiance I think boyfriend at the time where they were saying they moved from New York City to Denver and like here's everything they didn't expect or whatever they had made those videos I don't know like a year or something prior and she hadn't uploaded in like a year and she was a small channel but I really just like loved her I don't know why I loved her energy I thought she was so cool and I obviously like related to her coming from New York. So I had DM'd her and just said like, love your YouTube channel. Like I just found you on YouTube. Would you help me with my YouTube video on Denver? Like what are your recommendations or whatever? And we just kept chatting. She was like so grateful I reached out because she like kind of stopped YouTube for a little while. She is back in New York this week after like we have stayed in touch for like a full year. She's into fitness and everything too. So I've been like following her fitness stuff and she's in New York. So she asked me to get coffee and I was like, let's podcast. So I'm really excited because we've been connected for a while and I just like love her and don't know why. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I just don't really know exactly how timing's going to work out. But I And I really wanted to get coffee with her before, but there's a lot of new people at Run Club today. So I just feel like I should go. And it'll keep me accountable with running. So cute. Okay, you guys, I don't know if I'll make it. I feel like I say this all the time. But there's a, every Thursday night, and I still haven't made it yet, at my gym, on the deck, like outside, they do a hit class with TRX and like all of this box jumps, like a high intensity interval training class, which is a lot at 7 p.m. It's literally at 7 p.m., but that works for me because I had work at 7 p.m. Putting on my sunscreen on my face. But the kicker is they have ice baths after so they have a hit class and ice bath and I've never made it to this class but I just really want to today I'm gonna be talking to her about cold therapy this morning so maybe that'll motivate me to like follow through it's just really hard to do a high intensity class after a whole day of work like at 7 p.m. when you're probably hungry and whatnot but I'm kind of determined to do it but I have a feeling we're gonna cut to later and I'm gonna put a spoiler alert thing on here that says didn't make it but I'm gonna try I'm gonna work the second half of the day at like from the co-working space in the gym to make sure I make it okay this clip is really long but that's what we're doing this morning I'm gonna chug my coffee let's see if I make it to everything that I have today on time all right I have 10 minutes so I'm gonna do a little stretch video on the TV so that I can still listen to my podcast it's a little trick because every time I do a stretch video on YouTube on my phone I can't listen to anything else and sometimes I, like I still want to listen to a podcast because it helps the time go by because stretching is boring so let's put it on the TV on mute and forgot to book the podcast studio space. But this is Nikki, I'm trying to convince her to get back on YouTube, so subscribe to her. <laughs> Hard at work, I'm in like, uh, I'm so creatively burnt out mode right now. Like I feel like I'm PMSing and I'm not. It's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> a little anxious, I don't really know what's up with me. I also think because this morning threw me off a little bit. Tell me if you relate to this, but I think because I wanted and scheduled to go to this hit class tonight. The closer it gets to it, the closer I'm like, okay, realistically, I'm not doing that. 
And I'm actually getting like upset with myself because I planned it and scheduled it. But the learning lesson here is like stop uh, stop thinking you're going to be able to do any workouts a night. Like this is what happens every single time. Once in a blue moon, I drink too much coffee and I have energy and then I decide to go work out, but I need to not like put it in my calendar because I'm setting myself for, up for failure. I'm more likely to wake up at 5 a.m. to work out early than work out after work at 7 and I need to just... Also, when you're wearing clothes that don't make you feel confident, it really fucks with your day. Like, all I feel is like I have a flat butt and I'm bloated right now, and that's because of what I'm wearing. But hopefully Lululemon can help me out with that because they just messaged me on TikTok to send me stuff. I'm so excited. Good morning. I have had all of these like plans that I keep making for myself in the morning for podcasting, which I'm really excited about today because I'm actually going to be the guest on the podcast. So I kind of had to do a weekday. I can't really make someone work on a weekend, um, but I'm going to be meeting up with my friend Natalie Barbu. We're going to have coffee and then I'm going to be on her podcast, which I'm pumped about. I actually have to leave here in like 20 minutes. So I did like an ankle mobility stretch and a hip mobility stretch, but I was supposed to go for a run. I think I need to just stop cramming things in. I like made my workout schedule for the week and I feel like I didn't set myself up for success. Like I told myself I would take a hit workout last night. I told myself I'd do something before the podcast this morning. Like gotta be realistic. So you know, I'm happy this is happening 11 weeks out or whatever it is. But for the weeks going forward, I'm just going to try to only have morning plans like one, like just Thursday mornings. Like even if I want to podcast, I got to the studio in time after run club, after coffee on Thursday. So Thursday morning is going to be my only morning to make plans outside of working out. Other than that, got to work out. I'm also a little stressed because I'm so excited for dinner plans tonight, but I'm like, ah, Saturday's supposed to be my long run workout day, but I really want to like not be a downer and like drink and be with my friends. So I'm just going to try to pace myself, not overdo it, but still like have fun. But as the weeks go by, I'm like, okay, next week's my friend's engagement party. Then there's also my birthday one Friday night. So like things like that, I'm getting drunk and I'll plan around it. I'll make my rest day Saturday and so Sunday, whatever. But... Anything like kind of random like tonight, I'm gonna set the tone ahead of time. Like, okay, I'm just coming for dinner um, and like maybe I'll have a drink, but I'm not like going out right now because I'm training for my half marathon. So I'm not gonna do a random night out unless everyone's going out. Like I can't explain, but that's the plan right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I was considering like a running home from the podcast recording, but then I can't bring anything with me. So I'm gonna quickly change, put on some makeup and then go. And then I'm supposed to during my lunch break get a hair gloss, but I'm debating moving it till next week because I have that engagement party that's like a whole, gonna be a really big fun party. So I'm like, maybe I save my gloss for then so my hair's already done, but. Oh no, it's hard because I'm trying to get my hair done on like Fridays, but then I do my long run Saturday, so what? Anyway, let's go put this away. Jones Road, I'd probably already spoken about this, sent me these miracle bombs. And I'm so obsessed. <gasps> like, I literally can't stop using them. You guys, Ethan accidentally sent me something that would have given away when the engagement is. But it was, like, his proposal. But it was a really fucking stupid screenshot to send me by accident. And he was, like, laughing. So I feel like he's trying to throw me up and fuck with me. But that could also be reverse psychology because he fucked up. So now he's trying to make me think that he's fucking with me. But he's not. I don't know. But whatever he's done, consider me confused. So I guess like mission accomplished. We literally don't speak about it. I try not to be the girl that makes a million jokes about it or anything because if I was trying to plan a surprise party, let's say for someone or just any surprise, them nagging me about it and constantly making jokes about it would honestly annoy me and like make me upset. Like if you're trying to surprise someone with someone with something like you don't want them to even, you don't even want to know they're, they're thinking about it or anything. So I try not to make jokes about it or anything. Also, like, why I don't want to pick up on any of his reactions, but, like, that's just so annoying. He's planning a surprise. I'm not going to keep bringing up the surprise, you know? So I've been very proud of myself about that, but I don't know why he sent me this screenshot that literally, like, it was weird. I will explain all when he finally proposes, and then we'll find out what actually just happened, if he fucked up or if he was fucking with me. Now I'm really excited for it to happen and to have story time. Just texting Natalie to meet up. Okay, we're going for a natural look, but I feel like I need some color to my face. Now that I'm a guest, I feel a little more pressure to not look like a complete slob, but I also am still going with my natural vibe and look, which is not fancy at all. So I'm in like my typical cargos that I think I honestly 
wore when I interviewed her last time she was here now that I'm thinking about it, but it's actually a cold day here for once, it's like 60s, so I'm trying to take advantage. I think this is really all I'm gonna do. I've had a very, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but like specific makeup routine the last few weeks that I'm kind of obsessed with. It's like a no makeup, natural glowy look. Maybe I'll do a full tutorial on it. Comment below if you want like a specific tutorial on it because you can't really tell in this lighting, but my skin just looks very like smooth and glowy. So it's perfect for every day without mascara, but then it's also like can zhuzh it up and just add more of everything, which I will tonight for nighttime. And like I'll add bronzer and highlight to my lid and things like that. All right, I'm just gonna do mascara and then head out the door and meet her Natalie for coffee. So I'll see you there. We made it, I'm going to Blue Bottle Coffee to meet her for a very quick coffee and then gonna podcast. The coffee there is like crack though, so I'm gonna be like on this podcast. I did not do my makeup because, I mean, I did my makeup. I didn't do it in front of you because I just was like watching Love Island and in my own zone, but still to put my, my mascara on. I couldn't decide what to wear, but I think I went with, this is from Princess Polly and I have been wearing it. I've only worn it once or twice, but you know when you just buy something and like you try to switch it up, but just every time you go out, it's with a different group of people. So you're like, I might as well just wear that outfit again. However, I switched it up. I wore these with, this with sandals in the last vlog out with my friends from high school, like in a beachy way, so I wore them with sandals. Now I'm going out for dinner in the city and it's much cooler out, so. I styled it a little bit differently with these little boots, which are also from Princess Polly. So this is a little cowboy boot moment. And then I realized it was super chilly. This is Zara. I was like, oh my God, is this Princess Polly too? So I have this like over shirt kind of denim. I don't really know what it is, but I thought it was like kind of cute to wear so I'm not freezing when I walk home and I'm not in like a little itsy bitsy number, but I'm into it. All right, let's go to dinner. I'm so excited. We're going to Rowie's with the Rumble Girls and it's a really cute restaurant in the West Village. It's like really decent prices, like $14 cocktails, which for New York City is great and like homemade pizza, salads, really good food. So I'm excited. Here's a look. I haven't done my hair or anything yet and I have to do my mascara, but Here's how the skin and glow is looking. And yeah, okay. I'm on my way out. Vlogging in the West Village is not exactly my ideal, but I just filmed a TikTok with my ring light out, so that was way more embarrassing than what I'm doing right this second. But let's go meet our friends. I'm obviously a little bit late. Eight, seven, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good girl. You know what? Now you get your cucumber. I'm hungover from three cocktails. I don't know why I had a third. The whole table just ordered at dinner a third round, and I didn't really even like think about it or hear it happen. And then we were leaving to go to a bar, and everyone got up, and my drink wasn't finished. And I was like, wait, guys, I have to finish. Why did I just leave it? I didn't have to finish it. I didn't know how late or crazy this night was gonna get, but we really ended up just all meeting, like we met some of the guys at a bar for like an hour. Like it wasn't that crazy. So now I'm like, oh, I wish I just had two drinks at dinner because I didn't drink anything at the bar. I should have had water at the bar too. I don't know why I have such a massive headache. Like I literally can't hang anymore. Honestly, the other girls do too though. So maybe those cocktails just were not headache proof. I'm still determined Saturday's my long run day. That's kind of why I, I woke up really mad at myself this morning because I was like, that was so easily avoidable. Like you didn't need the third drink. You got home in a decent hour. Like why did we get so drunk? But it really like was not intentional. Like usually cocktails at a restaurant don't really get you. Like it was really, it, felt, it was like sweet and tasty and it was gin. I got gin on purpose. Anyway, I don't know. I woke up mad at myself, but I called Ethan. He's at home in Long Island and he was like, your hangovers are never bad. Like once you get out of bed, you'll be fine and you can still have your day and you can still go on your run. Like just get up, have your coffee and you're always fine. 
And he's right, I just have such a bad headache. So I need to get some food in my system, water, coffee, and I think I'll be I think I'll be good to go. I'm determined to still have a really good day and like work out and all the things. I'm doing, I have to do a long run, but I'm really excited. I want to, I did the, I got like a week free trial of the Sculpt Society. And there's a program for runners and it's like cross training for runners and I'm really excited about it because the gym routines for runners has just been kind of overwhelming me and like I feel like I don't get to it enough and just like stresses me out. But if I could do like more of a cross training for runners that's like more Pilates and strength but less like machinery and equipment in the gym at least like once a week. I would love that. So we're gonna try that. And I'm just ice rolling this shit out of my face right now and uploading reels. Cause I actually, I think because Ethan wasn't home, I was just like filming myself get ready on my iPhone. And so I'm gonna try to make some vlogs and content out of that. I'm literally like, <laughs> it really does help. I might gua sha this morning too. I usually do that at night, but I think it's a gua sha morning. Well, I actually see myself kind of coming back to life. She's alive. So we're gonna run and then I wanna go to Long Island later and hang out with Ethan there. I don't, I haven't loved being in the city on the weekends in the summer and it's like the last, one of the last weekends of the summer and we are gonna drive up state tomorrow. We're going to Beacon, so I'm gonna start a new vlog for that and give you a whole like intro on that in the car because we're thinking of getting an Airbnb, we're thinking about where we want to live in a few years, so kind of our goal of tomorrow is to see if we could see ourselves in Beacon. So we're driving up there from Long Island, so I just need to head to Long Island at some point tonight, and we'll hang there. So I have a lot to clean up. You know when you just get ready to go out, and you come home and you throw shit everywhere? I'm like, how did I make such a mess? Anyway, I'll be here. We'll end the vlog here. I'm gonna try to get myself to go for a run. I'll keep you posted on that over on TikTok and whatnot. And I'll start a new vlog tomorrow with our beacon day. So stay tuned. I love you all so much. Look at me just come into life. Not, didn't even have coffee yet. Love you, subscribe.